Right, I had some material delivered so I can get on and make the bearings for the ends now. And also, a pulley turned up so I've got the bearing off of there. So I can now make the bearings and turn the shafts down each end. Oops. Just turning up the bearings now. Right, I've turned the bearing down to size to fit into the alley casting. I'm just going to centre drill, bore it out and then ream it out to 7 sixteenths. This is a drill just before the reamer. Right, just reaming carefully. Right, I'm just parting it off now. That'll be the first one done then. Right, that's the first one, and then I'll do the second one. Right, that's the two bearings in. Now I've got to turn the ends down on the uh, rotor. Right, just starting to turn one side of the shaft down. That's one end of the shaft done. I made another bush to I reamed out to make sure that's a good fit. In fact, I might have to put a little bit of paste in there to bed it in a little bit later on. We'll see. Let's do the other end. Right, that's both ends of the shaft turned down to size. I'm going to try it into the body and see if it's fitting. As you can see there's a little gap there but I have allowed uh, to turn the inside of these down a little bit more especially this one I'll show you. Yeah when I machined the outside of these I uh, thought I might have to clean the insides of these out a bit more so I left those to do for fitting the rotor in. So that'll be what I'll be doing next. Right, I'm just cleaning, taking two mil out of the inside of this one. And then I'll take two mil out of the other end. Right, this is the smaller end. Right, I've cleaned both ends out inside, so I'm going to try that on. Well, that's there. I'll get some screws in it, and then we'll have a see if it spins all right. Well, I've got all the screws in both ends, and it spins lovely. I mean, there's no back and forth play in it, which is right. And that spins just right. So, now we've got to sort the brushes out in this end and then rewire it so it's going into the box. Which I'll have a think about for the next video because I don't know whether to remachine this end and leave the brushes on the plate and try and fix that in. Or make a new plate and take the brushes off of there and remount it all together I've only got uh, about an inch and an eighth to fit
the brushes in so I'll have a think about that also you'll see I've drilled some holes there for oiling one on each end on the drawer and it should just be a countersunk hole but I don't like that what I'm going to do is make a couple of oilers like I did on the front wheels to screw in there with a brass to top on it if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel it doesn't cost you anything the more people subscribing to my channel I'll try and get some more interesting videos up.